Hi, this is Mark from Microtasker.com. Today I'd like to take a look at the Freescale Cold Fire Tower Kit. This Cold Fire MCF 52259 Tower Kit consists of the processor board, the serial extension board with Ethernet and USB, and a 320 by 240 pixel TFT display connected via the Flexbus in 16-bit data mode. The first things that we will look at are some of the graphical capabilities of the demonstration. Here we see the TFT display being used in an emulated graphical LCD mode. The advantages of this mode are that it is easy to use and secondly it requires only a small amount of RAM backup memory space. The display also has a four wire resistive touch screen. For the next part of the test I'm going to insert the SD card and reset. Now the processor has detected the presence of the SD card and it is reading files from the SD card and displaying these in form of a slideshow. I have a button which I can press to regulate the intensity of the backlight. In order to illustrate some further features of the demonstration, I've positioned the tower kit next to the PC. At the moment, there is no SD card inserted, which is seen by the fact that the emulated graphical LCD mode is in operation. Since the cold fire processor in the tower kit is running the Microtasker operating system with TCP IP stack, we will first ping the board. What I'm going to do now is establish an HTTP connection to the internal web server by uh, taking a browser and typing in the IP address of the board. What we see is that we have an error message. This is the error 404, which is normal when there are no web pages loaded. So the first thing I have to do is to load some web pages. I do that using a bat file, which will uh, transfer them by FTP. And we see the transfer in process. It's fully automated. And then I go back to the web browser and refresh the page and now we see that we have web pages loaded the uh, demonstration websites have uh, several menus which I can use for monitoring the device for controlling parts of the device if I go into the LCD menu what I see there is a snapshot of the present image which is being displayed by the real display and I have the capability of posting a bitmap which will then appear on the real display I've now reinserted the SD card and restarted the board now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the contents of the SD card now there are three methods which I can use to do this. The first one is using FTP. So I establish an FTP connection. Here we can see that there are two directories. In the directory called PICS I have some files. These are the images which are being displayed 
in the TFT display. In the second one I have uh, quite a few uh, HTML type files which are used by the web server so we turn our attention back to the web server now this time we see that there is a lot more web content available the reason is because the content is now also being taken from a directory from the, on the SD card the second method for viewing content on the SD card is via Telnet The Telnet menu interface has a submenu for the SD card. This is a DOS-like interface which allows looking at the directories, moving around in the directory structure, deleting files, creating new files, renaming files, etc. The third method of working with the SD card is to use the USB interface. When connected to the PC via USB, the SD card appears as a disk drive. Here again we see the content of the SD card where we can modify, rename, delete or add extra content as desired. The code for the Coldfire Tower project including TFT with touchscreen, HTTP web server, Telnet, FTP and USB mass storage device for an SD card occupies less than 32 kilobytes of the internal SRAM and less than 128 kilobytes of the internal flash. The Coldfire Tower project can be fully simulated by using the Microtasker simulator. This allows code to be inspected, modified and tested in a virtual environment a method which achieves very high project efficiency. A further example that I'd like to show is of a temperature and humidity sensor. Here we see the temperature and humidity sensor. It's called the SHT21 from the company Sensirion. It is connected to the cold fire processor via I squared C bus. The board has been powered and the temperature and humidity test begins. Using a hairdryer I will now increase the temperature and reduce the humidity. Notice that the colour of the temperature readout is changing and also the bar graph showing the relative humidity level in a horizontal direction at the bottom of the display. Many thanks for watching and good luck with your own code file developments together with the Microtasker operating system and simulator.